Hello everybody and welcome to a new playthrough. I was just given this uh, this this game key for Tanzia. And I watched a little bit of it and I played about 20 minutes of it, just kind of the tutorial section. And uh, I think this is going to be a fun little thing for us to try out together. So here's our new game, Tanzia. The art style is amazing, it's really beautiful and it seems like it's probably going to be a really cool story. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Tanzia. Kind of looks like a dolphin. The Akazi had little interest in technology and material wealth. They pursued wisdom above all else. With the Akazi, arcanity, alchemy, and endless possibility would flourish. Because of their unique values, other races often regarded them as primitive and mistook them for weak. A critical mistake. Life was good on Tanzia. Until one day, a terrible evil known as the Skeleton King came to claim the island. The greatest Akazi warriors confronted the Skeleton King and his undead armies. And one by one, the Akazi fell. This terrible evil fought with an advantage. A unique knowledge of something born of this new world. This enemy fought with arcanity. The new world was young, and few understood the mysteries of arcanity. But one Akaze had already attained a mastery greater than any other, and the skeleton king soon met his match. The Skeleton King was furious. This small, frail creature had undone decades of preparation with a single blow. The Skeleton King retreated, and the Akazi did not pursue. Tanzia was safe once again. The Akazi continued to flourish, and the Great One Continued to pioneer alchemy and arcanity. And grow a magnificent beard. All races came from all over the world seeking his mentorship, and he taught any who would learn from him. Until one day, something more pressing demanded his attention. The Great One was blessed with many children and many grandchildren whom he loved dearly. But this one was very special. This one would be the center of his world for many years. As the child grew, he showed great aptitude for arcanity. No grandparent ever felt more love or pride for a child than the great one did for his young grandson. But he knew that their precious time together would be short. The Skeleton King was already plotting a terrible revenge against his new foe. He would end the Great One's bloodline. The Skeleton King used the darkest of arcanity to summon an evil and tortured creature from another dimension and enslave it to his will. The creature, a shade, was the perfect assassin. It passed through solid objects at will, traveled nearly unseen in the shadows, and had a deadly touch. The skeleton king watched from afar in glee as the shade passed through the young child and stopped his heart. With a single word, the Great One obliterated the shade into a million dark splinters that dissipated in the light. But the damage was already done. As the Great One fell to his knees, weeping over the body of his young grandson, the Skeleton King was very, very pleased. But the Skeleton King had once 
once again underestimated his Akazi foe. And when the Great One sensed that the Skeleton King was no longer watching, the illusion was lifted and the child was smiling once again. The Great One was Crafty trick. very sad, for he knew that events had been set into motion which would end their happy time together. And he would not see his beloved grandson again for a very long time. He sent the child to live in seclusion on Volcano Island with a most caring and trusted friend, Abenaki, far away from the peering eyes of the Skeleton King. The Great One, believing his presence was a danger to the village, also left. Huge fan of the musical soundtrack for this. In the village, whispers of his sudden disappearance so long ago turned into speculation of his certain demise. The skeleton king, believing that victory finally lay within his grasp, would again descend on Tanzir to claim his prize. And this time, no one can stop him. All right, Tanzia. All right, all right, let's do this, guys. Movement WASD, drag the right mouse button to look around, set uh, you know, controls, interact with NPCs, monsters, many of the things, find Abenaki, and interact to speak with him. Well, luckily for us. They put them right in front of us. Uh, quest journal button over to the left. This is what I really like about this game so far, honestly, is that the UI uh, graphics look pretty good. The walk-in's a little bit uh, disconnected feeling, but it's not bad. You know, looking around and walking is not hard in particular. You can, you know, it, it's pretty easy. You can control a lot like WoW, like a like an MMORPG would, would kind of go. But you have your quest here, and this kind of like button section, I like how it's, it's gone. It flashes if it needs you, and it shows up. Boom. I like it. I like the, I like kind of like the setup of the equipment, spellbook, alchemy, save, settings, and main menu. So, let's get started though. Happy birthday, Skim! I promise your grandfather I'd protect you, but I have to accept that today you are an adult. I will soon. I will have to let you leave the village alone soon. But first, with your new freedom comes new responsibility. Always, right? It's time to perform the annual ritual of totems to replenish the totems that shield the village from forbidden art of voodoo. I need your help preparing for it. You'll need a weapon, a spell, and a potion. First, the weapon. Here's one gold. Go buy a practice staff. All right. Well, luckily for me, I know where I'm going with this one. That I actually didn't. I forgot about it. But yeah, it's up this way. So let's go up here and let's buy ourselves our first weapon of the game, a staff right here. Practice staff. Purchase. Boom. Remember, my customers can always use this gem workbench free of charge. Uh oh, you feel dizzy. Can you hear me, little one? Once upon a time, there lived a young hero, a great hero. Arcanity came to him as easily as the wind, like you, little one. Remember. All right, so that was a little weird, right? You blacked out. You aren't sure. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what it says there. Uh, they make that screen go away a little bit too quick. But I think the premise is that we blacked out. I like how the guy didn't even seem worried. It's like, I just fainted in front of him. He's like, yeah, normal stuff. But uh, I think that's going to become important to us later on. Oh, by the way, guys, this isn't this isn't a, a beta. So there are going to be things that change. There are going to be uh, bugs, unbalances, stuff like that. So please keep that in mind that this is not the final product. So, Ah, yes, good. That's a fine staff to get you started. And now our Kennedy. Find the trainer and learn the Ice Shard spell from him. Absolutely. And also, thanks for just giving me gold all the time. Which one was that at? Why do I not remember? I think it's this guy up here. Let's check him out. Ah, perfect. So we have trainers. Right now, you only have enough gold for Ice Shard. You should return to buy more powerful spells when you have more gold. So Fireball, Roots, and Ice Shard. And it looks like there's a, a, quite a few other ones as well. So you've learned Ice Shard. Now, memorize Ice Shard from your spellbook by dragging your ability to the hotbar. Cool, all right. So, this is one of the things I like about it. Boom. Click and drag. Very simple. Very intuitive. 
and uh, very effective too, so... Let's go back. The large totem in the center of the village will replenish your health and mana while, in, while not in combat. It also acts as a save point. Look for the totems outside the village when you need to rest or save. Alright, let's speak, let's speak again. I just, I see that Arcanity comes easily to you, just like Mako. In time, you'll be able to thwart even the most sin sinister voodoo masters. Finally, there's alchemy. I'll teach you that art later, but for now, you should get a healing potion. Find the alchemist and purchase a red healing potion. Okay, cool. Well, that guy's up here, sitting up here on this little hill. We'll go ahead and uh, grab one. Hi, Skim, it's dangerous out there. Don't forget to stock up on health and mana potions. You bet, that's what I'm here for. And now I can equip it by going to my equipment, clicking and dragging to the bar. So very simple kind of useful uh, management for your AI, or for your uh, UI, I should say. All right, let's see what we can do here. Ah, young Skim, your grandfather Mako would be proud if he were alive to see you. But please, do not be reckless. You are not yet one of the heroes from our stories. His powers continue to wave until we perform the ritual. But it's the big totem in the center of the village will still restore your health and energy when not in combat. When you're away from the village, look for smaller totems and stay close to them when you need to rest. I marked them on your map. Your first chore is to collect Akari, Akiri feathers. We'll need quite a lot of them for the ritual. Search for Akiri birds here in the village near the entrance. Bring me 20 feathers. It's okay if they're a little bit charred. From the birds in the village. Uh, these, these guys? I'm not 100% sure to be honest. Aha! Alright. Character status. Top left of the screen shows your status. Red bar shows health, blue bar shows mana, green bar shows XP. Keep an eye when you're on combat. Most monsters will help their friends. Ooh, okay. So that's a good thing to know, right? So we have him selected right here. You just click to select. Oh, and he just got one-shotted. He resisted, that's not great. So we still got a little bit of health left to go. I was hoping for more of a, of a clean feeling uh, hotbar command, but it didn't feel that clean to me right there. The village totem is replenishing your health and mana now that you're out, uh, under, now that you're out of combat. The icon on your portrait shows the, to the totem's regen effect. Cool. So let's pick up all the goodies. All right. And let's shoot this guy with a nice blast. All right, the other ones didn't appear to aggro, that's good. Is that a feather right there? Uh-huh. No, it's a pander seed. Okay. Shoot that guy with a nice blast. Wonderful. We'll loot a little bit. Try to pull him away. All right, that guy's going to attack me now. Uh-oh. 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 We pulled a little much. We pulled a little hard. We pulled a little too many, I think. Uh, 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 uncle, uncle help me, uncle I messed up uncle, I messed up uncle, alright so we're gonna run and try to launch behind us, there you go, we're just kiting, oh I'm not living by much though, I'm hardly alive at this point, come on one more, one more, one more, then the looting begins. Ah, there you go, all right. That worked out fine. So kiting and running works out very, very well indeed. Uh, I did have the potion there. Uh-oh, feeling dizzy again. Arcanity came easily to the young hero and he mastered Ice Shard quickly. Mm -hmm. To overcome the challenges ahead though, he needed more firepower. Okay, I see what they're telling me to do. They're telling me that I've now gathered enough. Ooh. Cool. I know I can pick that up. That's neat. Alright, so it's trying to tell me, Hey, Skim, why don't you go and buy the next level because you have enough gold to do so. I will do that, my friend. I will do that. That wasn't particularly easy. That spawn nearly got me in trouble. Alright, so I've learned Fireball. And I might be able to just get right to it. Let's see, I have eight of those. Pander seeds. Tansyite. Let's look at our spell book. Let's take out fireball. Root was 100, so that's going to be a little while before I can get that one. But, fireball is available. 
Why don't I go here first and just pick up that? Pick up that since these guys are not by default aggro. And uh, let's launch a fireball at him. Okay, that was a little bit easier. That that was ridiculously simple right there. Th that's going to make this a little bit quicker. Let's do... Uh, oops, actually, I should have launched a fireball at him. Launch that behind me. I messed up. There you go. Alright, now level 2 and gain hit points. I'm enjoying this. I like the I like the kiting aspect of this. Oh hello. Boom. This is easy. Spawn rate's nice too. Yep. Yeah, this is pretty simple. Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. I think I of course these guys are going to be a little bit of uh, a little bit less of a challenge probably than future ones will be. I don't think there's too much of a surprise there. Uh, this is the very, very, very early portion of this. Alright, so I do believe I've completed that. Can I pick up this guy? Oh, I can. Another panda seed. Cool. Alright. What else do you have, actually? I'm, I'm interested. So you have the practice staff, and you have these guys... I believe they go into your uh, into your equipment. So is that over here, maybe? Yeah, it looks like you can use equipments and uh, equipment and along with your armor and weaponry probably to uh, put gems in different slots. All right. As young Magi returns, do you have the feather? Oh, ah, the young Magi returns. Excellent. These will do nicely. The other components for the ritual of the totem are two potions: seen visibility and cleanse. Invisible and cleanse. I'm expecting a shipment of silver for the cleanse potion. But you can gather re uh, regents, regents, regents? I actually don't know what that word is. Re regents? Somebody said it in the comments below. For the pronunciation of it. I know what it means. It means, it means like, uh, ingredients, basically. For the sea uh, invisibility one, in the meantime, we'll need four dangling undergrump. It's a small, odd-looking plant. There are some pockets of it growing in the crossroads. It requires extremely high concentra concentrations of nitrogen and kalium to, tra to thrive. So, we'll just look around where the wild boars are. Oh, it needs poop. That's what it means. We also need six turtle brush. Uh, that's the orange grassy sort of plant that the Akuri turtles, Akuri turtles love to eat. You remember it? It grows by the beach, and the Akuri are never far from it. Be cautious, Skim. While you won't need to venture near the voodoo practicing in Emuri, the wildlife outside the village can be very aggressive. It's best to keep your distance. Keep my distance or attack. That's that's the question that I ask myself. And the answer, I think, is uh, always attack. Which is why I'm going to shoot a couple of these guys as I go by. Just to continue getting more experience. Alright, let me out. Yes. You should really stock up on some potions. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave anyway. Okay, be careful. I'm confident in my ability. Alright. You set the village and cross into a new zone. Monsters cannot follow you across the zone border. That's good to know. I have a place to run if, uh, if I must. So we're looking for some plants and stuff now. All right, these guys, I believe, are aggressive. I'm just kind of testing out their damage. The slow is really helpful here. I got quite a bit of good stuff from that. But let's look for the let's look for the ingredients. Ah, that appears to be another panda root. What is this? Ah, oh, it's a totem over there. And there's some baddies over that way. Oh, is this something? Um, I'm not seeing these odd looking plants yet. We'll grab everything that we can get though. I thought that might be it. It wants me to look basically, this is like voodoo looking stuff right here. There you go, that is an odd looking plant. I think that's one over there too. 
Okay, there's one right there in front of us. Alright, so the fire doesn't do nearly as much as it does to the birds to this guy. Yeah, we'll hit him with one anyway. There you go. The damage was done. Are these guys aggressive out here? They don't appear to be. Are the boars aggressive? Yes, yes. Nope, nope. They're all aggressive. So let me do that little double hit right there. That'll get the uh, little guy dead. And now I'm nearly out of mana. So we're just going to come in here, finish him off with a nice little smackaroonie. And we got what we needed. Oh, hello. Uh-oh. I don't have enough mana. I forgot that I have to recharge my mana. That guy looks freaking horrifying. So we're gonna back out of here, get closer to the totem, and then just try to see if I can kick his butt fast enough by doing this. Just absolutely spamming. Awesome. Wonderful. We did. We did. Alright, so I forgot about the fact that mana does not regen. Ah, in my mind, mana always regens. Uh, it, it's always been just like a common mana thing for me. It's the first thing I think of. This guy... I want to kill him though. All right, we'll 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 play over here by the. Uh... Oh shoot! He pulled from all the way over there. All right, come on, come on, come on. What do I want to hit him with? There you go. Get him slow down again. Holy cow! What do you mean not enough mana? I think I need a heal just to prevent myself from being killed right here. Let's see. Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I hit him fast enough? I think I got him. I think I got him. I think I got him. Okay. All right. Come on. Woo hoo 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 hoo. All right. Ah, <sighs> all right. And I got something for a quest, I think, over there. That's pretty crazy. I think I've been mishandling my mana. I've been too greedy with it. Let's hit that right now, because it can hit them both. And then uh, we'll finish this guy off with just some regular... Wow! He's smacking me pretty hard. It appears like these guys have very long timing in between their attacks though, so that's something that makes me feel a little bit safer. Is the fact that they don't seem to attack like constantly, it's just kind of like attack and then not attack. And So the reason why I didn't feel the pains of mana and health, but in particular mana, last time was because, uh... Was because back at the, uh, back in the main area, I was constantly within range of a totem. I think there might be a timing kind of deal to go on, but it's hard to necessarily tell. So I'm grabbing a bunch of seeds. I've got a few of those different roots that I needed, but I definitely need more stuff. Let's see, let's check out our quest log. All right, so. Oh, it actually shows them too, gather four. And then I have to return Mata's enchanted feather to him. But I need to gather four, and how many do I have? Three. I'm almost done. Here you go. We'll grab that guy. We'll grab anything else that's kind of in the in the way too, or on the way, I should say. Crispin clove. Oh wait, I have to gather stuff from the beach too. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I never even thought of jumping, to be honest, but look at this. They should switch it up, though. They shouldn't have him jump like that every time. She like, sometimes he jumps at like that and sometimes he doesn't. Kind of like in WoW with the, with the elves. Yeah, I used to play WoW. Get over it. All right. What's the way down from here? Because I'm pretty sure there's this stuff near the beach that I need to get to. 
I don't want to die to fall damage. And I'm not sure if fall damage is or isn't a thing. Uh, health's okay. I think we're gonna be fine. We'll keep going. There should be another totem, I think. I hope. There'll be another totem somewhere down here. I am a little bit surprised that you don't have some sort of regen outside of combat without actually having a totem. Not a big deal. Just curious. Is that a totem down there? There's some other stuff. There's a... Uh, the Tansy and Ore kind of deal down there. Ooh. Okay, so there are some voodoo guys over there. And uh, they look like they'd be a challenge for sure. Is this a... Uh... No. Is this what I'm looking for? This is what I'm looking for. However, I want to get a totem. I want to locate a totem and then kill one or all of those guys. Because there's chests over there, right? And I can't, I'm not the kind of person that can see a chest and not go for it. The problem is I just want to make sure I have full health and full mana to start with. And a way to get more of them should I need more. I do not see any totems this way, though. We're getting close to a level up. I don't know how much of this I needed. Is this pick up -able? I feel like it could be. It's not. Chests? Nope. Any anything else that's cool in this area? Or any totems maybe? There's some sodium over there. I'm interested in that. There's a fishing guy. What do you have to say? Love a day for fishing. Have to be up early to catch the best fish. Okay. I guess I can't fish right now, or not yet at least. Let's see, uh, let's see what the sodium is over here. Oh. Well, we've drawing, we've drawn aggro. Wow. He smacked me pretty hard. And that doesn't do much to him. Ah, yeah, he hits me a lot harder than I hit him. And he doesn't get hurt by fire. Okay, we're in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, if I hit him quick, maybe he won't hit me. All right, good. Good. All right. Whew, that was more challenging than I thought. We need to get back to... We need to get back to that totem. That's about what we need to do right now. We need to get back to that totem ASAP. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to get back to that totem. I'm going to get back home side, and hopefully without drawing any more aggro. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. I'll grab some fun stuff. You know I really do appreciate it. And uh, most importantly, oh wait, we have a ton right here. Awesome. Most importantly, as always, you know the rules. Peace out.